Hi, I'm Andy McKee, art and photography teacher here in the Bay Area. I've been teaching art and photography for over 14 years, and I'm here to talk to you about your basic pocket camera. I'm going to help teach you which pocket camera is best to use, talk to you about photo composition, and basic photo editing on the computer. So what are the advantages of the pocket camera? It's really nice to have a camera that can go with you anytime and anywhere. The pocket cameras nowadays actually come with a lot of advanced features. So they can do a lot of the same things that your digital SLR can. The pocket camera is affordable. You can find really high quality pocket cameras for $100, $200, and that's gonna get you right where you need to go with all of your digital photography. One of the most important things that you need to look at with a pocket camera, and with any camera, is the user interface. How easy is it gonna be for you to get to the menu settings for the camera? They're all very different, so you wanna make sure to get into a camera store and actually handle one. Don't just buy one online. For instance, in this camera, this is an Olympus, you have a lot of features that are button press menu items. So you press menu to get in, and I toggle through my setup and through my features, and I click through here. And I have a lot of features actually. I can get in to change the sensitivity and the ISO. I can get into the white balance and adjust for color settings and white balance. And this is pretty advanced and an important sort of a user interface that you'd like to have in a camera. But I still have to get into it through buttons. On this Canon PowerShot, I have a lot of these same features, but they're on outside click wheels. These are a lot faster to get to and to change. And so this makes for an easier camera to interface with. You end up paying a little bit more money for these types of click wheels and quick user interface features. Another key feature to consider is the durability of your camera. So this little Olympus camera, while it might not have the easiest user interface compared to the Canon, it is shockproof and waterproof. So it's kind of fun to have a camera that you know you can drop from five feet or perhaps fall into the water and know that it's not gonna to come to any damage. So you can find a pocket camera that's gonna be able to do a lot of the things that your DSLR can do, but you're gonna be able to handle it with a whole lot more ease. 